People have always been interested in gold. Mainly it attracts attention being bulk bars, coins, jewelry. Besides, gold is money, and money is power. But, as we know, all that glitters is not gold, so beautiful and expensive at first glance jewelry may appear just a fake. The well-known legend about Archimedes tells that Syracuse king suspected his jeweler of cheating him in making golden crown by substituting gold in it with silver. The king gave Archimedes an order to reveal the fraud and to prove that the crown is not full gold. Archimedes made a lot of efforts in order to solve this problem, until the solution came to him accidentally, when he was taking a bath. Water started overflowing when he was diving into the bath, and realized the volume of displaced water is equal to the volume of his submerged body. At the moment of sudden insight, he rapidly ran home naked, exclaiming Eureka, which means I have found it in order to check theory. Then he made the demonstration for the king by diving the crown and the golden bar of the same weight into water. As a result, the crown submerged bigger volume of water than golden bar did. That was direct evidence of gold substitution by silver. The latter has smaller weight, but bigger volume. Almost everyone wears golden jewelry. But only a few of us are aware of its total composition, which can be varied by jewelers. Because of that, some of gold jewelry can be unsafe for owner's health, resulting in allergic skin reactions. Let's consider it more precisely. Gold by itself is inert, very soft metal, which barely fits for making jewelry, which is why jewelers started to melt it with copper, silver and even platinum. Because of application in minting coins, gold copper alloys for many years were produced much more often than other gold containing alloys. After a while, people started adding other metals such as nickel, platinum, zinc to gold for obtaining different shades. In fine, white, red, pink, green, blue and even black shades of gold jewelry can be found at markets and in stores. The main condition for making golden jewelry is easy processing in order to produce complex forms. And along with this, crafted items should be quite hard, steady and corrosion stable. Hardness of products is increasing as gold content is decreasing. However, such reduction makes golden alloys lose their environmental resistance, which leads to the formation of oxides as well as hydrogenation. As a result, jewelry may fade because of air influence and interaction with human sweat. After all, it may bring troubles and even chemical skin burns to jewelry owner. How can all this be prevented? And how many carats should gold jewelry contain? Fineness of gold can be expressed in two common ways – millesimal fineness and carats. Millesimal fineness denotes the purity of gold alloys as the number of weight parts of the base noble metal per 1000 weight parts of the alloy. For instance, a fineness of 750 translates to 75% gold, or 18K. Carats measure the parts of gold alloy per 24, so that 100% pure gold is 24 carat, when 18 carat is 75% of pure gold in an alloy. Rest of conversions between the percentage of gold and carats is displaced on the slide. In ancient times, the main method to verify if gold is real was bending gold with teeth. In our times, a scientific approach is used for this. Let us pretend to be big scientists and use phase diagrams of main gold-based alloys. There are two main components used in gold jewelry copper and silver. Let's refer to gold copper diagram and consider stability of the most widespread alloy from a scientific point of view. Gold and copper form continuous series of solid solutions. The highlighted lines are the liquidus lines, above which only liquid is present, and the solidus lines, below which only solid is present. The diagram has non-variant equilibrium points. In this case it is gold and copper. 
So the diagram displays the points for amounts of gold about 58 and 96 percent. The alloy formed at these points has maximal stability and doesn't decompose with time. Thus, according to phase diagram, we can say that the most equilibrium and stable are gold copper jewelry of 14 carat and 23 carat. This is really important for people who plan to wear golden jewelry constantly or often or even use it as a dental crown, etc. Other gold copper compositions can start decaying with time due to its interaction with human skin and sweat, leading to allergic reactions and even to chemical skin burns. After copper, silver is the second main component of golden jewelry according to its percentage in an alloy. Silver makes an alloy more plastic and ductile. Also, it changes a shade of alloy, making it whiter. By reaching silver phase over 30% in an alloy, shade of yellow alloy becomes lighter, and by its further increase up to 65%, gold becomes white. The phase diagram for gold silver alloy is presented on the slide. It is a cigar type diagram. Thus, the alloy has a complete solubility. Gold silver alloys are soft, ductile, and homogeneous. These alloys are equilibrium at the whole range of the diagram. The main conclusion. If you are going to wear copper-based gold jewelry often or constantly, please get only 14 and 23 carat. In case of silver-based gold jewelry, no allergic reaction is expected, since silver is inert metal just like gold. If you missed our previous historical review devoted to gold, please follow the link, like us and subscribe for our channel, as usually everything is gonna be interesting.